What is going on guys? My name is Conrax and welcome back to the channel. Today we talk about the most hated mechanic inside of Call of Duty, that being SBMM. Now if you're unaware what SBMM stands for, it's skill based matchmaking and it is a system that has plagued Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War to the max. We also seen it in Modern Warfare, albeit not as intense as it is in this game which leads me to make this video today. Now, right now, it seems like every other week, skill-based matchmaking makes it into the trending space to do with Call of Duty, whether that be the hashtag trending on Twitter, or, you know, some YouTubers getting exposed for exploiting the system, or people just complaining about the broken system in general. And it seems like this week, all of these things have just combined into the perfect synergy because never have I ever seen skill-based matchmaking blow up and be as hated on as it is right now from people in this community, particularly influencers, YouTubers, a lot of people with extremely large followings, which of course has caused a massive, massive amount of people to hop on to the anti-SBMM train. And if I'm honest, I'm glad that the topic of skill-based matchmaking has been brought up once again and recognized as an issue that is really damaging the experience for skilled players in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now I have been playing Call of Duty for a very, very long time. I think the first card I ever touched was Call of Duty 5. And ever since then, I've went on to play pretty much all of them, COD 4, COD 5. I have played every single Call of Duty the franchise has to offer. And when it comes to my skill level, I wouldn't consider myself an extremely good player, but I would definitely consider myself above the average skill level. Now, you may be wondering why I bring this up. And the reason that is, is because I have seen the evolution of skill-based matchmaking through every single Call of Duty title. And I have seen how much it has affected the online play and the general experience of the game in a negative way. SBMM has always existed in every COD. It's always been there to put the good players against players of a similar skill bracket and protect the players that aren't so good at the game. Now, it's been there, but it hasn't been in the scale that we see it in Black Ops Cold War. Believe it or not, some of your favorite games, such as Modern Warfare 2, you know, Call of Duty 4, uh, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, all had skill-based matchmaking to a certain extent. But it seems like in the past two Call of Duties, the developers and Activision have been slowly turning the dial up and increasing the SBMM amount. And I think a lot of people seem to think that SBMM is just this one system that can just be like deleted or whatever out of the game. But what SBMM is, it's a set of parameters that have been set by the developers and Activision that can be tweaked and updated and changed at any time. Now we all know that that isn't going to happen. Okay, we are dealing with Activision here and they do not like to listen to their community or anyone who gives them constructive feedback. And it's starting to get a little bit worrying because it seems like year after year, Call of Duty just seems to try and try to aid to the new player, the player that doesn't want to get better, the player that isn't very good at the game and probably will never be by putting them in safe spaces where they can just relax and not do very well. The problem with that is that matching with players of that same skill level, you never get any better at all. And we've seen it with Modern Warfare where they openly admitted to trying to appeal to the new player more by developing their maps and centering them around more safe spaces by making loads of buildings and making them very cluttered, as well as the SBMM implementation in that game. Now this may be okay for the new player that just wants to not improve their skills and just come back and just play the game and not do very well. But for people who like to try and get better at this game and like to you know try and play objective and win a lot it damages the experience for all of these good players because it will constantly match you up with players either of the same skill level or players who are even a little bit better than you it constantly forces you to have to play the game as hard as you can it constantly forces you to sweat 
And you may think that this system just means that it's going to keep the game more entertaining as there's a lot more competition. But actually, what a lot of people have found is that it's the exact opposite. Instead of making the game more fun, it's actually making the game a lot more, say, boring and tedious because people don't want to have to sweat, you know, 24 7 in every game just to do well. And even personally, I found that Call of Duty this year for me has been so much more unenjoyable than it ever has. Black Ops Cold War should be a game that I really, really enjoy to play. I love the original Black Ops and I love that classic run and gun arcadey style of COD that Treyarch usually always deliver. And whilst I think that Black Ops Cold War at its very core in terms of gameplay mechanics and map design is a very good game, the thing that's holding it back is the skill based matchmaking for many players including myself and it doesn't matter how many times that we bring this up or make the topic the center of attention for call of duty so that activision and treyarch can see it because let's be real they do definitely see all of the complaints about skill based matchmaking they are just purposefully choosing not to address this issue because by protecting the new players from the very skilled you know say veteran call of duty players that have been playing for many years that are really familiar with the mechanics and how cod works they can give the new players a so-called good experience therefore keeping them on the game and they're more likely to spend their money on it that's the whole reason this system exists it's just to make activision and treyarch even more money in turn damaging the experience for the skilled players of the game and it's sad to see that now there's going to be a whole generation of Call of Duty players who don't get to experience being stomped on in pub matches and slowly working your way to get better and better by learning the maps and the guns. There was something about it in the old days when you played Modern Warfare 2 and COD 5 and COD 4 where you would come up against really good players and back then just starting out obviously everyone starts off garbage at Call of Duty. No one started off a complete god right? It was satisfying to be able to learn the maps, learn the guns and watch yourself progress as a player, which is something that I don't think exists now because of SBMM, which is really sad to see. And I want to make this clear that I don't actually have a problem with skill based matchmaking itself. What I do have a problem with is the way that it is implemented into the game. There has been a numerous amount of options provided to Treyarch and Activision by the community on how they can fix this issue and the main one that I see is to separate two playlists one public and one ranked. The ranked can contain skill based matchmaking because obviously you need to match up with players of your same skill level and completely remove SBMM from the public playlist and instead do a connection based matchmaking instead very similar to how all of the older Call of Duties used to do it as well. I think the only way that we can get Activision and Treyarch to recognize how big of an issue skill-based matchmaking is, is by really forcing it into their face, so to say. We have extremely popular YouTubers like Chain Feeds now who have admitted to reverse boosting just to make content on YouTube because they don't like the SBMM. And I'm not going to sit here and disagree with what Chain Feeds has done because we have to understand that in a way, YouTube is his job and to make good videos and entertaining videos is the thing that pays the bills. And in the current state of SBMM, it is just not possible to provide extremely good gameplay like that consistently. But that's a video for another day. I have seen quite a few people saying that everyone should just be reverse boosting to try and make Activision notice it and revert the SBMM that is in this game. However, I think that is probably not a good idea. I think if we end up all doing that, uh, it's just going to make the issue worse. So I think the only way that we can get Treyarch and Activision to really, really notice and maybe take effect is if we just keep voicing our frustrations both on Twitter, through content, just making sure that SBMM is really always at the top of discussion when it comes to Call of Duty. But I'd also love to know your opinions on what you think of SBMM and how you think we should get Activision and Treyarch to change it in the future. 
So definitely leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about the current system and how you would like to get it changed. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button, enable notifications to see whenever I post. I have a lot more videos like this coming very, very soon. Also, leave me a like down below. It greatly helps the channel and it's very much appreciated. All of my social links are also in the description. You can go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord server as well. We have some cool stuff going on in there. But guys, thank you very much for watching. You can check my most recent videos on the screen now and I'll catch you in the next video.